Assalamu alaikum and hello dear friends you are watching your own channel the civil arts today we are going to discuss the basic topic of civil engineering and engineering mechanics that is how to find the reactions of the beam this is the first video of the series and today we will only discuss a simply supported beam carrying a pointed load watch the video full and if you have any question regarding the topic please write it in the comment box i will try to answer all of your questions before going into the discussion if you are visiting the channel for the first time please click on the subscribe button and be the part of the civil arts family let's start the topic today we are going to start with a very basic type of beam that is winding reaction of simply supported beam carrying only point load a detailed videos about simply supported beam types of and types of load is already uploaded in the channel and you can find the link of these videos in the description box so let's start topic we have got a simply supported beam having a length of 15 feet carrying a point load at a distance of 10 feet from the lift support we have named these the support lip support is a and the right is c at c it is supported by a roller support and at a it is supported by a hinge support and we know that at hinge support there is always two type of reaction one is horizontal reaction and the other one is vertical reaction the horizontal reaction here is denoted by r a x and the vertical reaction is denoted by r a y and it c the vertical reaction is denoted by r c so here we have three unknown one is r a x other is r a y and r a c so to solve this beam we will use three equilibrium equation that are sum of all horizontal forces along x direction is equal to 0 all sum of all horizontal forces equal to 0 the second equation will be sum of all vertical forces will be equal to 0 or sum of forces along y direction is equal to 0 and the third equation will be sum of all moment along z direction is equal to 0 or we can say that sum of our moment along z direction is equal to 0 starting from the first equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along x direction is equal to 0 we can see that in this beam there is no inclined or horizontal load so we will have r a x equal to 0 so we have determined the first unknown that is r a x is equal to zero caps to determine the other unknown that is r a y and r c we will use the other equilibrium equation so starting from the it sum of all moment in z direction it support c will be equal to zero to determine r a y we have to take the sum of moments at c equal to 0 and if you want to determine rc first you have to take sum of all moment at a equal to 0 it is a b and c and here we have to take a certain direction for positive moment here i will take that moment in clockwise direction will be positive and moment in anti clockwise direction will be negative So starting from support A we have R A Y load and its moment its AC will be its magnitude into its perpendicular distance from C so R A Y its magnitude into its perpendicular distance from support C is 5 feet and 10 feet so it is total of 15 feet and you can see that this R A Y is producing a clockwise moment. It's see, so we will take its direction positive. The 
other force acting is 15 kip switch acting downward and its distance from the support C is 5 feet and you can see that this force is producing an anti-clock moment at C so we will take its direction negative there is no other forces which is producing moment at C so we will equate it to, to 0 solving this equation we will have R A Y minus 5 into 15 75 equal to 0 15 R A Y shifting 75 to the other side of the equation we will have positive 75 and R A Y will be equal to 75 divided by 15 which is equal to 5 caps so we have to determine the other unknown the vertical direction it is 5 caps to find R C we will use the other equilibrium equation this is sum of all forces along y direction equal to 0 or sum of all vertical forces equal to 0 we will take upward forces positive and downward forces negative so sum of all forces acting on this beam in vertical direction equal to 0 we have 1 this r a y 115 k float and 1 r c so starting from this support we have r a y and the direction of r a y is upward so we will take it positive then 15 and it is acting downward so we will take it minus in r c we have suppose a direction is upward so we will take it positive equal to 0 we have to determine r a y 5 minus 15 plus r c equal to 0 minus 10 plus r c equal to 0 so r c will be equal to 10 caps and that is the, the unknown reaction at support c so we have solved the beam for its unknown and now we can draw it is So here it is 10 kips and it is 5 kips and to check that we have determined the reaction correctly we will use this equation sum of all forces is equal to 0 and you can see that 5 after minus 15 then 10 after is equal to 0 so we have determined it accurately here we have to discuss another thing it is kip means kilo pounds that is one kip is equal to thousand pounds that's all for the day thank you very much for watching the video please do not forget to like comment and share the video more updated video please keep in touch thank you very much